Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Check this out. I have another motorcycle dash camera. This is, I believe this is called Viofo. This is the MT1 motorcycle dash cam. And from the picture, it looks pretty cool. So they wanted to send this to me for re review. I'm not getting paid a dime to do this video. I'm just reviewing this for them and uh, see how it looks, how it works on a bike. It is a dual camera, of course, 1080p, full HD wide angle view 170 degree wide angle view with the sony sensor in it the starvis it does have wi-fi so you can connect your uh iphone or your android phone to it it has a gps logger uh remote control which will go up on your handlebar so you can start the recording stop it you can do the uh, all that it has a super night vision so should be real good video at night time and then uh, water resistant of course which it needs to be water resistant it's going to be on a motorcycle so let's open the box and check this thing out I have not yet opened this box well, here is the pull this out of here okay this looks like the main unit itself right here and of course this one like others, some have a screen on this and this one don't. I have come to find out about, after all I've reviewed, a screen is a waste of time on this. You're not gonna mount this on the handlebar. You're gonna mount this under your seat. You don't need a screen on this to view nothing. You can view it from the app on your phone and by far that's the best way to do it. Uh, this is where you connect your GPS, your power connector, remote control connector, and then we have front and rear camera. Nicely labeled. These look like extremely good connectors. Probably some of the best that I've seen. And then, of course, we'll have the side over here to open up. Put our SD card right in there. Micro SD card. Does not come with one. That would be a nice touch. I like things that come with a micro SD card. Because I've got so many different things, it's nice to have an extra uh, micro SD card to use. So there's the main unit that will go under the seat. Here we have, uh, that would be the GPS unit. And it will connect right onto the one that says GPS, which is this one right here. It's color coded black on black. Can't get that wrong. And it does have a nice quality seal in here, which that's good too. So you don't have to worry about water in the connection. So far, everything looks really good. Here we have the remote control. A very nice packaging here. Very, very, everything is really nice packed, all in Ziploc bags. So I do like that part. The nice looking remote control has a microphone on it, which the microphones on any of these motorcycle cameras, I've noticed they do get a lot of wind noise, but they're not designed to record sound, you know, while you're riding down the highway. If you're stopped, by a police officer, if you stop the wreck, you will get some audio, which can come in handy on the video if you need it sometimes. Has a button to turn on your Wi-Fi here and a button to record right there. And of course, rubber sealed. Blue will go on blue on here too. I do like the color coat. Here we have the power cable. Now this is a direct connection power cable right here. You will connect this to your ground, to your battery. And I'll have to look and see what the blue wire is. It's probably one that powers up. So when you start the bike, it automatically starts recording every time you start the bike. And then of course you have an inline fuse, which is nice right there. And we have our cameras. We have a front and rear. And usually your one's gonna be a longer cable than the other. Both of these actually look the same length, but they do look like the same length cables. This one may be shorter, I'm not sure. So here's the camera. It's a good quality looking camera. I do like it, the same kind of type of connector. Yellow, they're both yellow, so I'd say it doesn't matter which one goes where. Both cameras are, I'm sure, exactly the same. Then we have some Velcro, probably to mount this unit down under your seat somewhere. We have some mounts here. These will be the mounts to mount your camera. 
wherever you decide to mount them. You want to mount them in a solid location. I do know that so you don't get a lot of vibration and shake out of it and make a good steady video. So that's one. This is the other one for the other camera. Oh, and I am so sorry. This thing actually does come with a micro SD card, 32 gigs. So how sweet is that? I was just saying how I, I like things to come with a card. This one actually does. So I was wrong on that. Then we have some more sticky pads here in case we mess one up or we want to move the camera to a different location. We have some extra ones here. And then, of course, some zip ties to run uh, to tie all the wires nice and neat. This is a very good quality looking kit. What have we got here? Oh. Okay. Oh, this is a micro SD card reader. Okay. This is actually a nice small one. So you can plug your micro SD card in here, plug it in your computer, take your videos off. Really cool. So, that is a very good looking camera. Let's go ahead and uh, temporarily, I want to temporarily install it, make a video, make sure everything's working good before I would to to totally make this thing mounted permanent. But uh, So we'll just temporarily get everything installed and hooked up where it works and we can see how the video quality is. Okay, I did notice I want to show you after I unpacked them, there's they're actually in the two different bags, there was two different style mounts. They both do about the same thing, except for this one is plastic. Mounts like so with the bolt that goes through it. And then we have a, in the other pack, we have two metal mounts. So we actually have four mounts. Two that are plastic, two that are metal. The metal ones are kind of nice because you can bend this to make it fit different situations. If you need uh, just this half, you can bend this down over something and have it shorter. The plastic ones, you could actually cut them off if you need to. And they both have places where you can put screws in them to use them too. So it's just different options, different ways to mount it, depending on what kind of a setup you're going to do. That's the metal and the plastic. And this is also, this band is metal. This band here is plastic. So just a different style mount. While we're at it, we can go ahead and stick this SD card in here. One of the things that I really like is something that shows a picture how the card goes in. This one shows the shape of the card. So if we put it like that, should go in just like that and snap in. I can't stand one that I don't know which way it goes and I have to try it two or three times, get it right to make it fit and I don't want to damage anything. So that's nice right there. And of course we also got a owner's manual here, the user manual. It shows all the parts. Hopefully it shows a good way to uh, install it. So it shows you how we still have power we have ground, and then we have something that connects to accessory, which that blue wire will be the one that turns the thing on and makes it to where it uh, records when you start the bike. It automatically starts recording. You shut the bike off, automatically will stop the recording so you don't run your battery dead. And then shows you uh, different mounting locations, probably places you might want to mount stuff. The front and the rear camera under the seat is the main unit, the GPS unit place to mount it and then your remote control which would be up by the handlebar so you can easily control it shows you how to put the cameras in the mounts so actually a really nice instruction probably as far as instructions this is the best or one of the best that I've seen it actually has some good stuff in it that tells you how you're how to do your settings and tells you how to where to get the app to download the app to use which we'll have to do that and set all that up. Okay, here you can show you where I temporarily, as I said, I was gonna temporarily mount it to make sure everything works good and that I like it and everything. I just mounted it right here on the uh, cowl on the front I, and I used the metal bracket on the front and it, it's the nice part about it is you can bend it just a little bit and make it fit this curvature. It's not a place where I probably would uh, leave it permanently, but we'll see how it turns out if I move it to a different spot. I just don't like the location. But for video purposes to try it out, I think it's going to be a good location. And it seems pretty solid. Well, I'll show you the back. And on the back, I just uh, actually zip tied it. I used a plastic mount back here. And then I just zip tied it onto my rack. So it's far to the back. Shouldn't be showing the fender and stuff in the video. And it's pretty solid. So it should be uh, a good steady video. So 
now we just need to take this thing and do the app and hook it up to the battery I've already got it actually hooked up to the battery temporarily so we can do the video and see how she looks okay now that we have it turned on the Wi-Fi is turned on on the unit we want to connect to the VIFO however you pronounce that uh, and the password is one two three four five six seven eight so we can join the network okay now the app is right here Viofo open the app connect to camera and wow that was actually extremely quick you can see my video front and rear here there's the uh, rear here's the front which is aiming inside right now. I haven't got this camera turned right I can see I have this one pretty level But this one here. I think I need to turn the camera. I didn't aim it with the arrow up obviously All right, so now I have it turned uh, Of course the bike is tilting a little bit sitting there But here's the rear very good video on this Okay, we can uh, our record button right here We can manually start recording which it was already recording. I have to push this again. Starts recording, which when you start the bike, it's automatically going to start recording. You can see that red dot blinking right there. It means we are recording. Okay, can't uh, do any setting while camera's recording, so we can stop the recording to look at our settings. And there's the videos it's already recorded. Really, really cool. 24 megabyte a piece, that one's 93, depending on the length of it. Let's go to settings here. Loop recording, one minute. Time lapse recording, if you want to do time lapse, you could do that. That would be actually pretty cool. Audio recording on. Exposure. So motion detection, well, that's really cool too. Uh, G sensor on low sensitivity. Date and time stamp. You select your time zone, image rotation. I mean, this thing has a lot of good settings. Turn the GPS on or off, the speed. I'm going to put that on, oops, probably put that on miles per hour right there. And it actually has a lot of, a lot of good settings in here. We'll run through these more in a later video. I just wanted to do a basic right now. Oops. I went ahead and disconnected there. Okay, now we're connected. So let's take this thing down the road and see if it's that clear a picture going down the road because on here, tilt it. It's extremely, extremely good video on here. The rear, the colors even look good. You can see the back of my gladiator here and inside my shop. Let's go down the road and see what it looks like. Okay, on my bike here, I wanted to show you. I just stuck this temporarily for now until I find a better place for it. But the remote is really nice. Here's our Wi-Fi button we can turn on when we need to connect this to the Wi-Fi to the phone uh, to look at the videos or take videos off, whatever. And then this is our record button here. We can stop and start the recording. So very cool. Nice looking little remote. Let's go ahead and run this thing down the road and see what the uh, video looks like. Okay, guys, that was the recording. Uh, 
actually the video is extremely good so let's do another video where i can do nighttime um or have the thing mounted correctly and maybe do a nighttime video a little later right now it's extremely cold outside so not good to be riding at night on the motorcycle but thank you all for watching click the thumbs up on this video subscribe i'll put a link to them below where you can check these out as i said i'm not getting paid a dime for this they just sent it to me for review uh as i have other cameras and so far i i like this i like the setup i like the the uh app everything about it seems good quality and for the price i don't know that you could beat it for the price that this thing costs thank you all for watching right on